Right, uh, welcome back to this um, build of this 16mm scale Hudson Hunslet that we've been working on. Um, it's been a while, um, not had much time um, to do any modelling recently, work and, and family commitments. Um, but I have had um, come up with some ideas for some other videos as well that um, hopefully will appear at some point. So um, if you, um, they won't be necessarily modelling like this, but they'll be they'll be related. So if you want to see those when they come out, um, maybe maybe subscribe uh, and then you won't miss them. Uh, but for now, let's have a look um, at where we are. So this is this is where we were. Um, foot plate, foot well done, um, so that the driver's feet will fit. All the issues with this printing sorted. Um, but when I tried to put it together, um, I found that the wheels uh, would rub on the on the bottom of the the foot plate essentially, um, which which wasn't great. I'm still not entirely sure how come this this happened. Um, but anyway, um, I think as I say, I think it was the fact that they probably would have rubbed anyway with oversized uh, flanges, uh, but it just wasn't obvious on the way I'd um, assembled the previous versions. Um, so the plan was to um, essentially sort that problem. Um, and have a look also at the coupling um, blocks which haven't been added to the the buffer beams yet so let's have a have a look um, this is where we are um, I haven't assembled these pieces yet um, so you can see I haven't cut out the foot well uh, but again this is this is printed nicely no no issues with with printing so that's that's good that's another another test that this 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 version works nicely um, but what I have done is I've fitted a wheel set and um, hopefully you can see this spins really nice and freely now. No no issues with it catching. Um, what I've done is just put this tiny kind of um, semi-circular rebate um, into the bottom of the foot plate which keeps the wheels at the prototypical, the centre of the, the axle at the prototypical height um, but allows the kind of oversized flanges to run without rubbing. Um, you'll also notice a slight other difference in that this print now has um, actual bushes, bushes, bearings, call them what you like, um, to take the axle so that, they, so that they're not running directly in the print. The previous version just had um, small holes, uh, you can kind of see there, uh, where the axle just fitted straight through the hole. Uh, but as I've been using um, parts salvaged from a, a, a laser cut chassis by um, PS Models, um, that comes with these bearings as well as the wheel, the axles, the motor, the gears, etc. So I thought I might as well um, just make the holes bigger um, and use the bearings. And these these slide in. That I didn't realise until I was actually fitting them to this that they're they're ever so slightly kind of conical in shape on the outside. So they push in from one side really nice and easily, and then are a really nice nice tight fit. So that looks like a, a nice solution to the to the bearings and. Um, they're, they're they're exactly the same width as the supports I've got here, so everything's nice and nice and flush. And even though they're white, they'll that kind of be completely hidden once the model's assembled. Um, so that's the that's the foot plate part, and obviously solved the the wheel issue. Um, so I printed out the coupling blocks. Um, see if we can get the camera to focus. Um, so these have worked out um, quite nicely. Again, these are just scaled up from the the four millimeter version um, worked quite nicely. There's, there's some layering here, but these were printed on the the 0.05 um, layer height, so I could go I could go lower uh, to the 0.02 um, to to get rid of some of that some of that layering. But I think when um, you know a, a slight kind of um, file and some and some paint, most of that will disappear. Um, I'm not quite sure what exactly what size this hole ended up when I um, when I scaled it up. So I might go back and tweak this so that the hole is a known dimension because that would make um, designing or fitting um, pins to hold the couplings um, easier. But for now, these have these have worked out quite nicely, um, printed printed nicely as well. Um, the question though is how I how I stick these to the buffer beam. So I have obviously have the the buffer beam. Um, this is the front one. It's got the retaining pins at the side, uh, and it needs to go kind of. Um, in the middle somewhere um, so I did wonder about printing a hole uh, and a pin but because the way I want to print these um, without too much support so there's less chance of warping etc that was a that was an issue and when I look at the the rear one where the hole would be is kind of where this pin is um, so again that makes that makes life difficult I really should wash these parts a bit better um, so what I've come up with is this little jig um, I haven't, this is just to lift it off the build plate easier, it's not, not really part of the thing. But essentially, 
what it allows you to do is slip the front of the buffer beam into this gap like that and then when you turn it over there's a there's a there's a guide on the front um, and you can just slot the the coupling it block into the right place um, so that gives you a nice kind of obviously you have to kind of get it nice and level um, nice easy way of of, of um, putting it in place obviously so you glue it on stick it down uh, and then when the glue is dry you can just remove the move the jig and hopefully that should you know with a decent decent glue that should hold it in place assuming you're not wanting to pull you know ridiculously um, heavy trains um, where it's going to have a lot of a lot of tension I mean if you are worried um, about that then it would be reasonably easy to glue it into place and then drill a hole through and add a pin as well um, that wouldn't be too wouldn't be too difficult but for the, certainly for the use I've got I think that's probably going to hold hold well enough uh, for now um, so I think that's the that's the solution there so um, obviously I've, I've um, checked that the wheels fit in this one um, next thing obviously will be to um, will be to fully uh, fully assemble the, the buffer beams do the deal with the footwell again um, and hopefully maybe maybe cut these axles down um, so that um, so it starts to look a bit more a bit more sensible and I can at least potentially um, add the, the axle boxes as well and check that they look okay across the wheels um, I don't want to glue those in place yet because when I do that obviously captures the wheels because I can't slide the axle out um, and I doubt this will be the last uh, the last print of this there's, there's, there's likely I mean I have no idea uh, I might find other things I need to change so um, I don't want to, to, to lock everything in place um, as yet but uh, but we'll see so yeah next up will be assembling assembling this version uh, and then hopefully getting to see that run on the run on the track right so as you can see um, I've put the, the model together again um, yeah, it's definitely not going to be the last of the test prints. We'll we'll get to that when we get back to the to the workbench. Um, but I just thought I'd show that it is um, altogether the issue with the wheels, uh, the flanges catching on the underside of the chassis is fixed. Um, obviously, as you can see, the driver's sitting nicely in his footwell, um, and there is a lot more space inside the inside the engine bay for batteries and and, and RC stuff, etc. Um, so we'll have a again we'll have a proper look at that in a minute. Uh, but yeah, it's it's running nicely. Um, it's a lot more level on the track than it was on the the, the previous version. Um, it's uh, it's not catching. It's not it's not slipping. Um, apologies for the the lighting in here. It's not great, but hopefully you can you can see that it's running running nice and uh, nice and reasonably smoothly. Apart from where it goes over a few the the, the track bumps a little bit, but other than that, it's uh, yeah, it's doing well. I'm 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 really happy with the the performance of the actual the actual model and the, the design. Um, as I say, there are some issues, which I mean we need a reprint, but we'll get to those in a few minutes. Right, so we're back at the workbench. Um, I've removed the, the body pieces. They were just clipped in place, but I thought it was, would be easier to hold and uh, easier to show um, and explain what's what's going on now um, so as we saw um, in the first part the wheels all turn nicely and you've just seen the driven wheels work uh, fine as well um, yeah so um, the coupling coupling jig um, that I that I did the, the this thing um, for putting the coupling blocks in the right place worked nicely um, as you can see these are these are now just glued on um, was went on kind of first attempt on both sides um, no particular issues there at all um, nice and nice and straightforward um, <clears throat> and obviously the buffer beams then themselves just glued glued to the, the foot plate as before as did the bottom of the the footwell um, as I say I'm gonna definitely reprint this one because I broke it um, it's you can probably see here um, it, it snapped here all the way through which meant this piece uh, fell off entirely before I glued the buffer beams on um, it's not a problem with the printing or the design process um, it was just me being lazy so if you remember this top piece is, is kind of infilled um, with a, um, a fairly thick strengthening bar at this end to keep make sure the footprint uh, footplate prints and, and stays flat um, and rather than gently taking a saw to it or, or a knife and cutting through slowly um, 
I was in a bit of a rush and I decided I'd just take the, the flush cutters and just snap straight through. Uh, and obviously, um, going through this side was fine, but this side, the, the amount as I as I cut caused the, the resin to twist and it just snapped off. So you can see there's a bit here where it's, it's obviously just snapped a piece off here that I didn't bother bother repairing. Um, so, uh, yeah, I'll definitely be um, printing a new one of these and, and, and taking a bit more care. Um, on the next one, um, but in general, yeah, it's all it's all working. It's all working nicely. Um, as I say, for lack of time, um, I didn't haven't bothered cutting the axles down yet, so I still can't try the axle boxes on. Um, that'll be for be for next time. Um, but I think there's a there's a couple more more things I need to sort. So um, there should be some holes or some fittings somewhere for um, some controls. There's a couple. There's, there's at least one I think goes in this side of the footwell. Uh, and one that goes in somewhere here. The rest all go into actually into the controls um, that form the kind of the back of the engine compartment. But there are there are a few that go down here. So I'll, I'll sort those out probably before I reprint uh, this broken piece. Um, and then obviously this is the back of the the engine bay, uh, which fits on nicely behind the motor. Um, but in in the in the real thing, obviously has um, kind of extends out a bit further, which then has the the metal panel over the top. Um, so I need to deal with printing that other piece for here. Um, it's going to be a separate piece that glues on because you won't see this joint. It'll be underneath the underneath the metal panel parts. Um, so I think, <clears throat> in general, that's probably the last bit of printing of actual things I haven't printed yet. Is this this piece and the controls at the back of here? Um, the rest will probably be kind of um, either sheet metal work or, or detailing work with wire and things like that. Um, obviously the holes for, for some of the controls might go into here, but there won't actually be parts necessarily uh, for those. Um, I still have to work on the seat, but again, I'm, I'm thinking that a lot of that might be uh, not printed, but um, metal sheet, certainly for the the seat, the seat, the body of the seat itself. Um, there may be a metal part, a uh, printed part for the, the, the kind of stand it fits on. Um, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do there. I want something that's kind of customizable so if you if you have a you know your figure that you want to use this one's got a nice nice flat bottom where it's been obviously carved that way but um i want something where you can kind of customize how it he's going to fit on the seat whether that's with a kind of like you know a, um some kind of modeling clay for for a seat cushion or something like that so we'll have to i'll have to think about exactly how that goes but as i say i think mostly it's going to be a kind of handmade detailing part rather than uh, printed parts um and then the other outstanding thing is I still have to work out the grill for the front of here. Um, that should be just a question of finding the right kind of um, style metal uh, woven mesh um, of the right of the right spacing, uh, and then cutting a, a part out appropriately. Um, we'll have to have to see exactly how that goes, but that shouldn't be too difficult. It does on the real thing have kind of a wire edge to it, so obviously the the, the mesh is kind of welded to some kind of outline. Um, on the four millimeter version, this was done as a as an etch, so the, the the thicker part was on obviously part of the etch. But I might have to do that with some actual wire. We'll have to we'll have to see how exactly that goes. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's coming along nicely now. Now now I've definitely got a, a a part that's that's printing properly. The motor's in; it's in the right place now. There's more space. Um, so yeah, so I think it's um, to a certain extent now it's on to doing with some of the the detailing components, which will, will be nice, and we'll we'll see how. How fast we get on with that um, it's as I say there's been a while since the last update so hopefully um, not so long until the next one but we shall have to see <laughs> 